everybody. I was praying this morning as I was praying in my prayer time. I was asking God to give me something real quick for his people today. You know, I just wanted a two minutes something. And as I began to meditate on time and, and meditate on, um, you know, just praying and asking for a word for his people, a quick word. You know, he put in my spirit, he dropped in my spirit second. And as I began to think about second, you know, I began to realize what my Lord was saying. You know, it does not take long for God to change some things around in your life. It does not take a day, a month, a year. All it takes is one second for God to turn some things around in your life. And so I began to read the Bible. I read Isaiah 48 Three. You know what it says in Isaiah 48, 3? It says, I have declared the former things from the beginning and they went forth out of my mouth and I showed them and I did them suddenly and they came to pass. That word suddenly there means instantly. God can change some things around in your life instantly. And you know what was going on when the scripture was written? What was going on is that God had given the children of Israel over to the Babylonians for the Babylonians to chastise his people. But when that time was done, when God was ready for them, you know, to come out of that chastisement, he did it instantly. Instantly he delivered his people. And what I want you to know as well, those that he used to chastise his people, he began then to look at those um, Babylonians. He began to look at how they treated, you know, his children while they were in captivity. He began to see how they had no mercy on the elderly. He began to see how they had no mercy on the children. And that thing turned around against the Babylonians. And you know what happened? God caused their wives to become widowers. God caused some trouble to come in their lives. The same God that he used them, hallelujah, to chastise his people was the same God that was going to judge them for how they treated his people, you know, during that chastisement period. So I want you to know today, God is saying to you today, it don't matter what you're going through. It don't matter how long you have been in it. When God gets ready to deliver you, he can do it instantly. Hallelujah. All it takes is a moment, a blink of an eye for God to change those things around in your life. And if you are watching this video and you haven't given your life to the Lord and you would like to give your life, if you want to be saved, if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord, I will never close out my videos without giving somebody the opportunity to accept the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. And so over in the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, the 9th verse says, if you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says, you shall be saved if you call on the name of Jesus. So repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. Please forgive me for the wrong that I have done. I denounce Satan. I believe that Jesus was um, buried. He died and that he rose again. I believe that Jesus is Lord. So I invite you into my heart. Help me to be that person you created me to be. And now that I am your child, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit that I might have the strength I need to become all that you have created me to be. I ask these things in the name of Jesus. And so if you have given your life to the Lord, if you just said that prayer, God bless you, run to the man of God, let them know, you know, hallelujah, you just gave your life to the Lord and they will take you under their wings. They'll shepherd you. They'll help you to grow. They'll help you to become all that God has created you to be. And hallelujah, men and women of God, the word to you today, this little one, two, three, four minute second thought is that God can turn your situation around in a second. It don't take no year. It don't take no 10, 15, 20 hours. He can do it in one second. Thank you for listening to the video. I look forward to seeing you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Know that God loves you. Know that I love you. And I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.